Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to get CSGO style strafing into your um, Unity game. Uh, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, so if I just go to my character model, you can download the script in the description. Um, I just made it myself last night, took all day, uh, with the help of some tutorials, some articles and uh, whatnot. So what you need to do is just download that script and in the meantime, what I'm going to do is just show you the player movement script. This is just um, a normal player script, a uh, movement script you'll find in maybe like a Bracky's tutorial, something like that. Something super basic and not what we want. So if I just uh, start moving, jump in, whatever, and then I try to B hop or strafe, and look what happens. Just run, I uh, just move left and right like an idiot, which is not what we want. So um, what I'm going to do is just stop this and enable the player movement script with the strafes um, here we go so if you actually play around with this you immediately see a change I mean um, it works with friction this script does so um, if you want a less script slippery than this it's pretty slippery uh, you can just increase that um, so Okay, because the UI works now, I can just really, uh, I can just show you how this script works. If I just walk straight, I'm at a speed of eight, eight point five around there. If I just start jumping, as you can see, I'm jumping. Um, it's just pretty much the same speed, which is perfect. It's exactly what um, we want. But as soon as we start to strafe in the air, right? watch the speed go up now i'm going to start i've got 10 15 i'm not doing a good job to be honest okay you know what we're just going to start again because i know i can do a lot more um okay let's go now so 13 hopefully we get into 30s range i mean i've done this and i got to like 40 you know um, there you go. Look at this. Look at these speeds from 8 to around 30 speed. I'll just spot stop there. You can look, look at these B hops. Um, you can get to around 40. I mean, you can go insane numbers of speed, and that's from a base move of speed of 8, so which is pretty insane. Um, you know, with this movement, you can surf, you can do whatever. It's just the exact same as in um, Quake and source so I'm just going to show you the script um, you don't really need to know a lot um, you can look through it if you want feel free to do so um, hold up my computer is lagging nice one okay I'm back so you don't really need to um, understand everything I mean you can uh, look for it if you want to but um, also you have to uh, remove this uh, the regions it's just for my UI uh, I'll probably do that myself okay so let's actually get into how to implement this script into your game so what you need to do is just get your character I'm not really good I'm not really bothered making a new character or whatever just going to show you mine and what you need to do so you need a game object with your uh, character model I'm just going to use a cylinder here it doesn't really matter uh, your main camera for your, obviously the first person you can just watch a Bracky's tutorial or whatever uh, here's the script it's not, nothing really special um, well, I just made this randomly I'll just remove that so uh, this is just the trail, nothing really special. But what you need to create is an empty, and you can just call this whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna call it uh, that. I don't know what that is. So you need to um, put that into your character, and what you need to do is um, align it. So I'm just gonna put it in zero 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 to align it with the bottom of your uh, player right at the bottom so what i like to do is just put it right 
under the bottom and then leave a gap as well i think that just 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 helps um and making sure that the actual floor is a cube and not a plane so it has some thickness to it um so i've already done that in the ground check as you can see it's right there so i'm just gonna remove uh this yep so i'm just gonna show you that it's nothing really special i mean this is a normal cylinder this is the main character with a normal script ground check is just an empty object um and trails just uh for the tutorial just to show you so we're gonna go to the um your character script you're just gonna drag onto the script i'm gonna leave in the description below what you need to do is for your character you need a character controller you can just add that uh, i mean you can mess around with these um you can just copy mine to be honest you can just copy my values and what you need to do is um drag your character control into the controller drag your ground check into the ground check and what you need to do is your player you need to drag that into the player over here at the bottom and also what's really important is you need to get your floor or your uh, terrain whatever it is and what you need to do is make a layer so you need to add layer and call it um, ground right let's go back and what you need to do is, oh my, okay, my mouse is disconnected. Oh. Okay, so it's back. Um, what you need to do is create, change the ground mask to ground, whatever you change it to. And uh, as you can see here, all of these are playing for me right now. I can just change it to ground. And that's pretty much it. Now, you should just have the... Um, the strafing, well, the source player movement, and uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You can leave a like if you want, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.